There's a lot to talk about today. This is one of the more fascinating forecasts I've seen in my whole time here. I mean, this is really whiplash. You're going from a big heat event to have to contemplate what's going to happen with the leftovers of a hurricane. This is Lake Nascimento. It matters since rain is in the forecast and the reservoirs are low. We could definitely use the rain as long as it comes down at a rate we can handle. We're going to talk about it coming up. 83 Santa Barbara today, 85 Santa Maria, 80 Lompoc, 108 in Paso Robles, 93 in San Luis Obispo. And again, that 108 is a record for Paso Robles, 106, the standing record from just last year, 92, an average daytime high. Seven day forecast at the bottom of your screen. Now, remember that KSBY weather app, you get the 10 day forecast, hourly forecast, and more. But in this particular scenario, you get radar, you get hurricane tracking, tropical storm tracking, and a lot more, and alerts. So make sure you download that right now. 107 Paso Robles, 106 Shandon right now, 99 California Valley in San Tienes, 93 in San Luis, 81 Cambria, 77 Lompoc, 81 Forest in Santa Barbara, and Isla Vista. And regionally, it's hot as well. So yeah, the Cal ISO issue is definitely something to watch. And again, to cover the excessive heat warning, it's still on in the interior, and then we add one at coastal valleys tomorrow. Now, the Beaches are currently out of that advisory, but it is an offshore wind event and we could see some changes there. We have seen some changes with Hurricane K. It's down to 75 miles per hour. It's very close to becoming a tropical storm. Now, it still has a lot of moisture associated with it, and now some of that's starting to leak into California. You can see this wrap around and how we're getting some showers here being picked up by the radar. That could essentially happen at any time, but there's better opportunities we get into Friday. Additionally, there's a lot of wind energy associated with this. So we've got some surf issues for the South Coast. San Diego, Southern California actually going to feel winds directly from the storm as it turns off to the west. Doesn't make a landfall locally here. Some offshore on Friday and then the winds kind of meander around but become a little breezy on Saturday as well. You can see most of it is offshore here, but the temperatures will come down because we've got a lot of cloud cover associated with the storm. And again, four to seven feet. These are waves associated with the left overs of K. What about the rainfall could come in the form of showers and thunderstorms. More high clouds keep pouring into the forecast, but again, as early as Friday afternoon, we could see scattered showers and thunderstorms around the area, but really it's more likely as we get into Saturday when the bulk of moisture pushes up. And if anything, this model is not bullish on the system and it still shows quite a bit of activity. And again, weakening storm, not making landfall in California, turning off, but lingering the leftovers of this linger into Monday and Tuesday of next week. How much rain could we see? Oftentimes, we'll show you a chart that shows a lot of numbers specific to communities, but to be more accurate, I think we have to show you a range because this includes thunderstorms. So coastal valleys and deserts could see anywhere between a tenth of an inch to seven tenths of an inch. Foothills, a quarter of an inch to one inch, and the higher elevations could see anywhere from three quarters of an inch to two plus inches. I think those higher amounts, though, mostly in Southern California. Models are all over the place. Some guidance is really low, but still includes some hot spots in California. If you are traveling to the south, make sure you get the latest. Why does it matter? The wet reservoirs continue to sink here. The drought, no change week to week, which is interesting coming off a really epic heat wave. But again, I've posted this to my social media if you want to take a look at the lake levels today. 105 Paso, 93 San Luis for Friday, 89 Santa Maria and Lompoc, 89 in Santa Barbara. North Coast beaches in the 70s, even Morro Bay could see 76 degrees. If anything, the coastal valley forecast here is very conservative. With an offshore wind event, we could see some scattered triple digits. I think we're close in the Santinez Valley, Cuyama Valley, south coast in the 80s. There's the extended forecast. You can see how those temperatures start coming back next week. And again, more details on the forecast we posted soon to KSBY.com. We're back after this.